shortly after Stakehold had been sold, our workers were still working for this black manager that had purchased the company. And uh, I'm going back to probably about April, May, when we had a call from John uh, saying that uh, he felt that he'd been intimidated because uh, this manager was really sort of at him. The one day, uh, the manager called him into his office and he had a gun on the desk. And it was shortly after that that uh, John felt that he'd been intimidated, that he sort of felt threatened that this chap might just shoot him. And so he left almost immediately. Uh, his security, after working about 38 years with me, um, this chap gave him a pittance. He, he never got the money that he should have got, uh, not at all. So when uh, John left, he left really with perhaps just a couple of months' wages. And this also upset him, and this also, um, he contacted us to, to let us know exactly what had happened. And then shortly after that, uh, this manager did the same treatment uh, to Taifuma. So again, very shortly, uh, Taifuma joined John. And I think there was about another two or three that had left. The only ones that I knew that had stayed was in fact Bardwell and Michael. The rest had all gone. But uh, later that year, uh, much to our surprise, is John coming through on the phone now to talk to us, saying now he's opened up a company for himself. And all the farmers were now going to John's little office. And uh, Taifuma had joined him, and Ben had joined him. And uh, basically it was a mini stakehold. So all the farmers would actually go to John's office now, uh, to be able to get their dairy equipment. And of course, John being with us uh, also nearly 40 years, um, they, he knew everything. And so did Taifuma, because Taifuma had also been with us about 38, 40 years. And so the workers, they knew exactly what to do and all the rest of it. And uh, Tony did chuckle because it was a, a little mini stakehold. But equally, we also learned that this chap now he didn't have these fellas to work for him, had to turn it into a car repair shop. And uh, it is still that today. But, uh, and very often I'd get calls from uh, John, from Michael, uh, all the chaps that had spent their lives really with us. I mean, to work 40 years for us, I mean, it's a lifetime. So really, uh, all the workers, we were just one big happy family. If there were any news that went on, uh, they would get hold of us on the phone and uh, chat away to Tony and give him all the updates as to what was going on and so on. But uh, I think that brightened Tony's uh, uh, thoughts when he realised that uh, our workers had in fact formed a, a little group. So it was, it was a big smile to his face anyway.